Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to redesign your Windows 10 interface so that it can look like your Mac OS, the latest version that is Big Sur. So as you can see, the current desktop interface is the end result, what you're gonna get once everything is done. So without wasting any time, let's begin. Just for the purpose of video, I have break down the process into simple steps so that you can catch up and install as per your condition. So you guys need to download few themes and install them in your system to achieve the end result. First of all you need to change the cursor to Mac OS. Once the file is downloaded, extract it and click on install. Once the files are installed properly, now go to your search bar, search for mouse cursor. Click on it and now click on pointers. Change the pointer to Mac OS and click on save changes. Now as you guys can see, the default cursor has been changed. Now right click on your taskbar and unlock your taskbar. Now drag it to your top. Once done, head back to your browser and search for Rainmeter. You can also download it from the link in description box. I have downloaded the beta version. You can also download the final version that would be more stable. I am using beta version because it's the latest version. Once the application is downloaded, Install it. Now please remove all the pre-installed skins. Now we need to download the Mac OS Bixer widget skins. So we need to download them from web browser. You can directly go there from the link in the description box. Once the theme is downloaded successfully, extract the file and install it in your computer. Run the file on Rainmeter. Now you can choose whichever theme you wish to, light or dark as per your need. I am choosing the light version. You can always rearrange the widgets as per your need. Now we need to download the dock for the windows. The best dock version I can suggest is the rocket dock. You can download it and install it from the link in the description box. Once the dock is installed, we need to wrap it with the Mac OS skins. You can also find a link in the description box for the skins. Files are downloaded, extract and install them. The first five folders that you can see are the skins for Mac OS dock. You need to move them to the program files of a rocket dock. For that, search for rocket dock, skins. And now you need to paste all those folders. Now in the second step, you need to copy the icon pack. For that, head back again to the downloaded rocket dock skin folder. Copy the icon pack and go to your program files, rocket dock, icon 
and paste the icon back here. To apply all the changes successfully, you need to click on the subscribe button on my YouTube channel. That means a lot for me. So next up, you need to run the rocket dock. So now, a few changes in the dock settings. For the look and feel, you can do as per your preference to my settings. You can always add and remove application from your dock by simply dragging them in or out. To add your favorite application in your dock, go to search and drag the application to your dock. You can add as many applications you want. And now we'll change the icon for the application to the Mac OS icons. In order to do that, simply right click on the icon, then click on icon settings. Now you can replace the default icon from any customized icon you wish to. Now change all the default icons of Windows to the Mac OS version. for a better look and feel. The last and the most important step in this video is to change the skin of the taskbar. For that, you need to download the drop top 4 from the Deviant website. You can go to the description box for the link. Once the skin is downloaded, extract and install it. Once the installation process is over, follow the steps. Select the language you wish to. You can select the options as per your preference, so don't go by me. Once all set, allow all the permissions and apply the skin. You can see that the taskbar skin has been changed to the Mac OS version. So now guys enjoy the new look of your system and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and if you like this video please share it with your friends.